season gets going tonight in earnest. Uh, reigning Super Bowl champion Chiefs 3-47 and 47 against the Ravens who the defeated in Baltimore in the AFC Championship game. John, I'm just going to start with you. What are we seeing here? Uh, are, are you guys three out there as well? Yeah, we're so we're dealing with all the Thursday night NFL games at minus 105 both ways, Bear. So we're right now we're at minus three, plus 104. Baltimore's plus three, minus 114. So think of it like a 10 cent split. It's been all Kansas City, guys. It was Kansas City saw really sharp action in the summer when they were minus two and a half, minus 110. Public's on Kansas City. We're definitely going to be rooting for the Ravens tonight unless something really significant changes here this afternoon, this evening. I don't think it will. I think we'll be big Ravens fans tonight. Public and the Sharps on Kansas City so far. Yeah, let me let me ask you, let me just say that, and I wanted to ask you because there are a lot of people out there who just automatically, oh, everyone's on the Chiefs. That means I have to play the Ravens. Is that overblown <laughs> or have you noticed anything like like that where like yeah. a majority like anytime you get lopsided play like this would you say that that's something where maybe the the side that is the non-public side wins it may be a 60 or a 65 percent clip or you really haven't seen that at all no i haven't seen that at all guys if it was that easy then all of us could just say hey the public is on this i'm gonna bet the other side we'd all be rich we wouldn't have to do anything but just watch and collect our money every day Look, the public was on Kansas City in the Super Bowl. They won. The public was on Kansas City in the AFC Championship game against Baltimore. They won that one, too. So I, I don't I don't think that's a good way to look at things. Any information like that, oh, the public's on this, the ticket count is this, the money is this, that information is all basically worthless. You know, we, we put it out there because people like to look at it. It's a good talking point for social media, but it doesn't really mean anything, Bear. I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't let the public action scare me off of something. If I thought it was the right side, I'd stick with it. Jeff, you feel better now? I, I do feel better. Uh, but did you know that Lamar like always covers as a, as a, as an underdog or like, you, you know, so you, so you can't wager against the Ravens. Yeah. Tr tr trends will tell you that right Bear. I mean, spicy Jeff on social media. Uh, uh, Mahomes, by the way, is great as a three point favor or less. Here's a, here's the deal with this game guys. For me, it's, it's quite simply the Ravens are going on the road with three new offensive linemen playing their first time together. The left guard did not play last season. He's technically a rookie. He has never started a game. The, the right guard has typically a tackle. He's playing guard this year. He started one game in the NFL. And the right tackle has started zero games in the NFL. He's a rookie as well. So you have three new offensive linemen going on the road to play in Kansas City on Banner Night. I know last year the Chiefs lost. I get that. Those guys that 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 dropped the football are not on the team anymore. So like I, the, 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 the Chiefs are better. Offensively, defensively, they're going to be fine. And the Ravens go into this game, guys, with an inexperienced offensive line playing their first road game, Will. So I lean Kansas City for that reason. I, I, I think they're going to overwhelm the Ravens' offensive line this game. Yeah, and we always hear the stat about Andy Reid off of a bye. And, well, this isn't off of a bye, but it's the same concept. It's Andy Reid with extra time to prepare. And I think there's going to come a point very early in the season where the rest of the league sees Xavier Worthy and says, how the hell do we let this guy get to the Chiefs? Because there's just going to be a lot of plays where – Hey, Xavier Worthy, you run as fast as you can. Mahomes throws it as far as he can, and we'll see what happens. And uh, if nothing else, even if those are, are misses and long foul balls, that affects what the safeties have to do and that, you know, lets you, you uh, dump the ball off underneath, run the ball. And, I mean, some of those are going to connect too, and that's an element they haven't had, you know, really since uh, since Tyreek Hill. So I like the Chiefs. I, I don't think that like this is some great uh, bet on the Chiefs, though, just because, I mean, you, you guys referenced the uh, AFC title game last year. Chiefs closed five point dogs. Now they're three point favorites. I know you're going to flip home field and that's worth like, I don't know, four points, two points each way, a, a point and a half each way. So this is a, a pretty big adjustment based on, and I know it's not exactly the same teams as last year, but you're talking an eight point swing from a, a game January till now. Uh, there's not a ton of value, but I do think the Chiefs win. And if there's one thing Andy Reid can hold over their head, and there's not a lot when you won two Super Bowls in a row, it's, hey, we came out last year on opening night and we stunk. We lost the game. Tony dropped a million balls. Let's come out tonight and win the game. So I do think the Chiefs win. Uh, and I'm curious, John, if this does land Chiefs on three, is that like a, a really bad result for you if it if you have to refund all these bets? That would that would definitely be bad. So we don't we don't want to say we don't want to refund anything. Well, <laughs> we, no, we don't right? we don't want the game to land on three because then we got all the people to bet Kansas City minus two and a half. They'll win. And right now, today, as we get closer to game time, there will be money coming in on Baltimore plus three. But you, you want to you always want to have a big decision on the Thursday night. 
you want to put yourself in a spot where you got a decision on Thursday night football because A, you'll either win big or B, everybody's pockets are just filled as they head into the weekend. Coming Either back. Way, it's not 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 a terrible <laughs> result for us. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm going to get involved here before the game uh, on the side. I, if I had to play something, I might uh, lean with with Jeff and the and the idea that the the Ravens offense might struggle a little bit and lean under 47. So uh, th- that's what I'm thinking about tonight, but it always might be an opportunity to hop in live with some with something Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.